ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, girls and boys, boys and girls, welcome back to our channel, Inspirational Business with David. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, and let you know our channel is back on. Hit the like and share. Let you know that, uh, you know, share the information, share the news, share the information, share the news. We're back. We are back. We are back. So I'm not going to have a drink. Let's continue. Let's continue. I got some serious things. It's always serious when I'm talking, but oh my. Whoop. The name of our bill today. But before I talk about the bill, I just thought about something. Get the book there, Dad said, Won't a memoir of a man who's been mentally asleep. All book formats. All book formats. Amazon.com. Hardcover, soft cover. Uh, Kindle. Yeah. All book formats. Even audio book. Get the book. It'll help you out. Get the book. I bill today. I build today. I've been thinking throughout the week. And I have not been weak. W-E-A-K. I've been going through the week. W-E-E-K. And I'm not days. D-A-Z-E. Through the days. Happen to be weakened by the weekend. Today, uh, I build with Inspirational Minutes with David today. It's properly titled. Everything we are. Is based upon error. E-R-R-O-R. Thang. T-H-A-N-G. We aren't. I have some things to talk about. Let me see. I will start off with this quote. Educate you a little bit. A lion doesn't lose sleep over the opinion of a sheep. So I wrote some things out. I got some things I want to talk to you about. Um, a few things I want to talk to you about. And people always ask me, is the earth round? Is it flat? But let me give you my conception, my thoughts, my dreams when I go to other ethers and travel throughout the astral world, different levels of the metaverse. The ideal of a flat earth mixing the helicentric or in the globe model is absolute effing insanity. Now, let me say what flat earth is and what flat earth isn't. We're not on a disc floating in space with other flat planets. Plan, plane, plan, plane, plan, plane nets are round planets. Let's take that BS off the table. So, um, you ask David, what is flat earth? Mm. What is flat earth, David? <laughs> Shooting this at you, brother. Large bodies of water at rest lay flat scientifically, provably, probably, exactly, measurably flat. You see, flat earth is like, it's like a pond. Now tell me what holds a pond in. The answer is the shoreline which holds the water or surrounds the water is constantly higher than the level of the water or the waters. The water needs lateral pressure. Water lays flat and we live in what I call an, an Antarctic basin, an Antarctic bowl, so to speak. Okay, here's the deal. The controllers tell us that Antarctica is a continent at the bottom of the freaking ball, they say. So, so this is what they do. They, they, they give us 
They give us this, this CGI cartoon of a globe with the Antarctic at the bottom of the globe. You've you seen that, the globe with the Antarctic. It's like a little white, big mass of continent land at the bottom of the globe. That's what they give. But, re, but in reality, Antarctica, Antarctica is the land. It's the land. This huge, this huge ice wall that surrounds the world's pond. Think of all the oceans of the world as a giant pond. The shoreline of our pond is the Antarctic. So if you're on that lake and you're sailing around and you sail to the edge of the lake, and if you don't fall into space, you step up, you step up onto land, right? Now, now imagine at the center of the lake, we have a mountain, and that mountain is magnetic. We call that the North Pole, at the center of our flat land. Why do you think they were giving us, you know, Santa Claus and going to the North Pole? It's real cold in the North. They was giving you truth right there in the cartoons. We just didn't realize it. We thought it was entertainment. Now. If you're on the boat and the lake and you have a compass, that compass, that compass is going to point. Yes, it's going to point towards the center, towards the center of the lake, no matter what. No matter what and no matter where you at. The North Needle is going to point at the center of that lake. Flat Earth is poop. We live on a flat level plane. All of our senses, all of our measurements, every scientific test done through his story is done, the history is done by a credit scientist. Proven. To prove an actual rotation. The spinning of the earth or curvature of the earth has failed and proven the opposite. They don't teach us that in school. They don't teach us that in school. And if I look up at the lights in my ceiling, they don't dictate the shape of my floor. When I look through the binoculars telescope and I look at Saturn, I see a spear of what looks like a spear. But it's no relation to the shape of the Earth because planets, are not what they tell us. The earth is a level plane. The way I describe it, it's the basement of the universe. And what's below the earth? Hell, hell. I don't know. Nobody knows what's inside the earth. The deepest hole they ever dig is not even eight miles, people. And when they're digging that hole, when they were digging a hole, they were wrong every step of the way. They say, oh, there's more water. There's no more water, right? As they were digging. Then they hit, guess what? Water. Oh, 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 there's no more rocks. And then just before the eight miles, they hit an impenetrable, the impenetrable barrier. And nobody can go any deeper. It just boom stops right there. But, 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 all of a sudden, they know the next 4,000 miles to the center of the earth of Mother Gaia. And they show us this cartoon CGI meme of all the layers of the earth. But guess what? Guess what? That's fake AF. It's a cartoon meme. There's no scientific evidence at all. At all. Just really quick on gravity. I want to put you up on game. Okay, the truth is that we live in this electromagnetic system. Okay? Look this for you. Electromagnetic system. It's called the Earth. Mother Gaia is station is a stationary. It's stationary. It is not moving. 
it has what we call a negative charge to it. For example, a cell battery, negative, positive. And everything above the earth in the air has a positive charge. While negative and positive attract each other, like for example, it says, down is the way. That electrostatic force, by the way, is a thousand times, a thousand times stronger than what they tell us gravity is. Flat, it's not a shape. The flat earth of Mother Gaia is measurably, testably, Level and horizontal. Do you know what a plum bob is? Does they that they hold with a string with a weight on it? You know, it kind of looks like a bullet, but it's a plum bob used in construction. All of them point down vertically. They point down vertical to the horizontal planes. Okay, microwave power. If you research them, you need a straight line. But we have microwave towers going over 300 miles or so. And they are constantly communicating with each other. You see, that does not work on the globe, people, or on the ball earth. We don't use the word planet because it's a plane. It's a plane. P-L-A-N-E. It tell you in the book. The plane spread across. They just added the T to the end of the word plane. It was a plan. Net. <laughs> so what's below the earth? Hmm. We talked about that earlier, did we not? But guess what? Nobody, absolutely nobody ever knows. I personally don't think the moon is a place where you can go. There was a scientist, an old scientist, look it up, back in the 50s. He was talking about the moon as plasma. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. And we never, ever been to the moon. So with that said, uh, the moon missions as described were not accurate. It never, ever happened. If there's more land beyond Antarctica, what's another word for more? It's extra. What's another word for land? It's territory. So put that together in a word we have extra terra. Now peep this. <laughs> peep this. If somebody came from the Extra terra outside Antarctica, beyond the outer area, beyond the ice wall. We probably call them an extra, an extra terrical, an extra terrestrial from the outer space. A alien. So, what's beyond the ice walls, you ask? I haven't been there. But guess who's been there? The government. <laughs> Look it up. You see, a lamb does lose sleep over the opinion of sheeples. And with this bill, I'm sure most of you have heard the expression, as above, so below by now. It comes from the hermetic philosophy, which is pretty much the basis for all occult and esoteric knowledge. And more specifically, from the second of the seven laws, which is called the law of correspondence. But what I'm going to speak of here is the fourth, the one, two, the, the fourth law. It's called the law of polarity. And is this is of the most importance in the control systems. Now, Polarity, P-O-L-A-R-I-T-Y. Polarity means the extreme opposites are actually the different degrees of the same thing. In other words, they are not opposites, but they're comp they're, they complement each other. We understand what is cold because of what is hot and vice versa. 
What is tall because we understand what is small. What is beautiful because what is ugly, etc., etc. Right? I won't go too much more detail here, but it's a it's a simple concept to grasp. To grasp. And the reason is very important. The reason why it's very imperative and important to understand is because this knowledge, knowledge, which is neutral by nature, has been constantly used by the elites to control us, to control us. Polarization of the mind is how those in the know manipulate us. Since the polarized people have a strong opinion, for or against something, they are easily manipulated and controlled by either introducing an opposing force or a like force to move them, repulsion or attraction, to force or to attract, to push away or to attract. They use this with politics, religion, sport teams, television, the media, a turn to media, etc., etc. You know what I'm saying. The best example, since you know we're all going through, uh, you know, we have to pick somebody to set up in the house, another puppet. The best example is politics. It can only work with the polarization of the public into two opposite sides. But the left needs the right, and the right needs the left, or the illusion could not take. It would not work. And once you understand this, once you understand that you can start the delipization process, which can help hugely and not fall for the Hegelian, the Hegelian dialectic agendas, as you will easily start to recognize, gain the intent of the polarization behind you see, cymatics is a good example of ethers, of the ethers presence. The frequencies fed through the the the, the Chinese plate make the sand or salt form precise and complex geographic shapes. The higher the frequency, the more complex the geographic pattern. But what is the con? The, the, what what is the conjugate? that takes the frequencies or the vibrations and allows the sand to take their shape. You've seen, you've seen the, 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 the Shalani plate where they put the salt, they put the salt or the sand on there and they, and they use the vibration and it begins to shape. It begins to move and, and make a picture. Look that up. C-H-L-A-D-N-I. Look that up. That is the ether at work, people. That's why we see fruits and vegetables that closely resemble Cymatic patterns. All matter is ethereal. And the shape and form of that matter are different expressions of the ether. Determined by frequency and vibration. Ether is the bridge between electromagnetic frequency and vibrational energy in the form of matter itself. I'm about to get ready to close out. Well, I'm going to leave you with a little news that I got. A little news I got the other day. It said the WEF, World Economic Forum, document confirmed six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, one, two, three, four, five, six billion with the B, billion, boy, B, humans will be unalived in 2025. A World Economic Forum report hidden in plain sight confirms that upwards of 6 billion B people will be unalive in 2025. And according to reports from Davos, D-A-V-O-S, Claude Schwab has confirmed the stated goal is on the target to be achieved. Now look him up too. Look at over the WEF. Look it up. The global elite have been warning us about the plans, the planet, the plans to radically depopulate the earth. Test run 2020. Oh, I haven't forgot. I haven't forgot. 
And you better not forget either. The global elite has been warning us about the plans to regularly depopulate the earth by any means necessary. And now the results are playing out before our eyes. And if we have any hope of stopping them from achieving their goal of unaliving the vast majority of humanity and turning earth into a prison planet to enslave the rest, the information in this report can be shared far and wide. Far and wide. The WEF co-founders, Klaus Schwab, was called boasting and loose lip moment with reporters that the Agenda 2030, WEF Agenda 2030, is a red herring or a ruse to throw norms, the normies, on people who know off the scent, the people who are awakening. In reality, the situation is more, ur is more urgent than that. Hence, here we go, 20, 25, a few months away. It's the year of the elite are embarking for a massive worldwide population decline. And according to Swab, the goal of reducing the population by more than six, six billion people is on track to be achieved. A BBC journalist reported that she was summoned to Davos, the AVOS, earlier this month for the regular meeting where Klaus Schwab briefs the mainstream media on which narratives to promote in order to advance the globalist agenda. The journalist noted that it was her first time attending the monthly media meeting in Davos, D-A-V-O-S, though, though some of her colleagues have been participating for years. She, des she describes Claude Swab as being strangely emotional, almost in tears, almost like he was, you know, like he was intoxicated, laughing frequently and reminiscing in a psychopathic manner about the depopulation agenda, which he admitted has been intricately planned for decades. You see, they always 30, 40, 50, 60 years ahead of the population. Words cast spells. That's why it's called broadcasting. They're casting spells. The news, N-E-W-S. They cast the spells north, east, west, south of this plan, of this plane net. I'm in and say this. His story is but a myth agreed upon, written by the quarrels, the lies of the conquerors. The past was erased. The lie become the truth. The truth was forgotten. You see, Bert Hellinger said the black sheep of the family, they should be called lions of the family. Lions! <laughs> lions! Are actually born seekers of liberation paths for the family tree. Those who, who from a young age, from a young age, constantly sought to revolutionize Beliefs leaving the past marked by family traditions. Those criticized, judged, and even rejected. Those who are usually called to free the tree or repetitive stories that frustrate entire generations. Those who do not adapt. Those who shout rebellion play a basic role within each family system. They repair, detoxify, and create a new and flourishing branch in the family tree. Thanks to those members. Our trees renew their roots. Our rebellion and his or her rebellion is fertile land. Their madness is water that nourishes. Their stubbornness is new air. Their passion is fire that rekindles the hearts of the ancestors. Let no one make you doubt. Take care of your rarity. Like the most precious flower in your tree. You are you. You are the dream come true of all your ancestors. 
If you made it this far in the Inspirational Minutes with David, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, hit the like and share, spread the news, spread the information, spread the news, north, east, west, and south, spread it. Because everything we are is based upon error, the error of the things, of the things that we are not. I leave you in peace. Positive energy. Positive energy always create evolution. I love you. I love you in truth. Peace.